talking with me, and I know this has been an arduous journey for you. Uh, yes. <laughs> to say the least, um, you know, just with the diagnosis. And uh, if you could tell us a little bit about how um, you were diagnosed initially. Um, I felt it myself. I, wow. I had next to nothing going into this, and uh, my mass was seven and a half centimeters within my milk ducts. Oh my gosh. Um, and you're young. <laughs> you're young. How old are you? I am 36 now. I was 35 when I was diagnosed um, last Thanksgiving. And you have kids. Uh, two. They're actually here with me. There's my husband and Aww. my kids. So, yeah, they're all here with me. Um, what a great story. So, so you go through that whole process, and of course, at the beginning, it's all about getting the cancer out and getting treated, right? Absolutely. Um, and I'm fourth generation, and okay. so my local doctors and I all insisted on DNA testing before moving forward with any treatment options. Um, right. I was in the upper 90 percentile of return. And okay. So with that, my decision was to remove absolutely everything, nipples included, because... Wow. I had had discharge, and therefore I was afraid it could come back in that tissue right. as well. Well, let me ask you, before you go through that surgery, were you able to look at images of what you were going to look like afterwards? Did you have an idea? No. We, it was, I knew what I wanted to do, and we didn't look at anything, no. Which surgery? The mastectomy or the reconstruction? So after the mastectomy. After the mastectomy. It was... I don't even know how to explain it. <laughs> um, what would you say I felt? Because I don't even know. I... Lost. Just, I, <laughs> I, I was. I was lost. I, I was going through the motions. I knew right. that... Right. I knew that it was gone and we were moving towards Oh, it's poor connection. Are you still there? I can see you. Are you there? Yes, I am. As long yes. as we can hear each other we'll be okay. Um I was just going through the motions. I knew that it was a step towards it was a step in the right direction. Right, right. But I think at the same time are you prepared for that emotional part of what you look like physically and that reminder of that cancer and that journey. I don't think you're ever prepared for that, but right. um, from the beginning, I handed everything over to God and right. said, because so many people say um, we're fighting the battle, but I did not fight the battle. Right. I handed it over and from the beginning have said that I'm nothing more than a battlefield. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. So now let me ask you, you've gone through your reconstruction. Yes. And then just today you started your journey with Jason. I did. I did. So how did it go? It was... My first words were, oh my gosh. Yeah. Because I went from scars that look like nothing to right. I actually look like a normal person again. Always a normal person. <laughs> and always beautiful. Oh, yes. 
but Always just the the superficial stuff that we don't realize actually right. means how something to us. Right, right. So, how much more work do you have to do with Jason? Um, probably, not. probably let Maybe it heal. Maybe one see. or two full follow ups, but we're not really sure that we need to do that. It'll all depend on how the how you heal healing goes. Sure. And so, let me ask you this: You got to see yourself with the work that you did today. Yes. So, how did that make you feel? How different do you feel today than yesterday? It gives you a confidence that you didn't realize that you didn't have. Right. A sense of completion. Right. Definitely a sense of completion. Yeah. And And it has to in some way, you know, I don't know why this journey has been given to you. And maybe not to me. I don't know why. I can't answer that. But at the same time, you know, what what do you feel that has changed for you in, in a way for the positive or for the good? How is life different? How is life different? I, I guess there's more awareness of what's going on with my body. And... Right. But um, I know that I have to be aware for my daughter right. through this um, because there is a single gene mutation that we have to look for. So it's, I think, just self-awareness. Right. Well, and it has to help her to see you carry yourself through this journey in such an amazing way. I, I think so. And it up to God. <laughs> Definitely so. So I, I'm sure in some way it, it helps her and the rest of your family as well. There's definitely been a strength that I don't think any of us would have had without. Can you get everybody in the camera? Do you mind if we can see your family? Don't mind. They'll come up behind me. <laughs> okay. Oh, <honey. laughs> what a beautiful family. That's awesome. It's how awesome that you guys are there with your mom today and your wife today. Yes, because for us, it's a holiday. It's Columbus right. Day. So as a teacher's aide, I didn't have to go to work and the kids were off, so kind of